Well, Nike pulled its special edition sneaker with the 1777 Betsy Ross flag from the shelves. When America's Neil W. McCabe has reaction from the leader of a Washington-based conservative group. Adam Brandon is the president of Freedom Works, the Washington-based logistics hub for Tea Party and conservative activists. He told One American News why he is outraged that Nike has surrendered over its salute to a flag that was flown during the American Revolution. I was absolutely shocked, and apparently they did that because the former NFL player, uh, Colin Kaepernick, complained. I could personally care less about what Colin Kaepernick's, what his opinions are in all of this, but what I do care is that Nike is trying to remove part of American culture from, from their product that they rolled out. According to the Wall Street Journal, the retired quarterback told Nike that the flag is offensive because it celebrates a time when slavery was legal in America. The sneakers are a modified version of Nike's Air Max 1 Quick Strike athletic shoe in white with red and blue trim and on the heel the Revolutionary War flag first credited to Philadelphia seamstress Betsy Ross. The shoes were priced at retail from $120 to $150, but after Nike recalled the entire lot, the few that were sold have become collector's items, with some selling as high as $2,500 on the StockX auction site. I have no idea when the Betsy Ross flag became offensive. To me, this is the first flag that we fought for our Constitution. And if you go back in time, yes, America has had some horrible times, and we've had some very noble times. And I like to believe that our noble times and our noble parts of our society are winning in the long run. The so-called Betsy Ross flag was a sharp political departure from the Grand Union flag that General George Washington raised January 1, 1776, because because it replaced the Union Jack with the stars for each of the 13 colonies in full revolt. The design was enacted by the Continental Congress June 14, 1777, a day Americans celebrate as Flag Day. But I know I'm offended by the fact that they pulled it because they, they're kowtowing to someone for some reason out there. It is a symbol of all the good things we're trying to do in our society. And to suddenly say it's a symbol of white nationalism is absolutely absurd. One of the reasons why Nike leaders surrendered its U.S. flag sneaker so quickly could be that they do not feel a connection to America. Nike is based in Beaverton, Oregon, but according to a Nike website, of the more than 500 factory facilities around the world, only five are based in the U.S. There are more than one million workers producing Nike products, but less than 6,000 are Americans. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.